Jennifer Camden. Order. What is the government doing to ascertain the extent of the infrastructure backlog local governments are urgently? The Minister for Local Government. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank the member for Camden for his, for his question and congratulate him on his wonderful win with member the 22.8% we'll swing. And Can the leader of the opposition. An 8 swing. And following in the, uh, the wonderful footsteps of that former Liberal member for Camden, Dr Liz Kernahan. Yeah. Madam uh, Speaker, local government is a very, very important player in the New South Wales economy. Uh, it manages uh, $158 billion, $158 billion worth of assets and employs about 44,000 people. But the former government did not have any time for local government. They took, away, they took away the capacity of local communities to determine their own destiny and replaced that with a centralised decision making based on a decision for donation culture. Not only that, not only that but for 16 years the former Labor government let the infrastructure backlog in local government grow and grow. Their approach was at best to do nothing and at worst to cut funding to important infrastructure projects. Just one example, just one example of the former government's lack of commitment to oh, local no. government is the funding cut of $42 million for the country town water and sewerage scheme. What has been the result of that, of that slashing in expenditure? This has been the result. 40 projects, 40 projects in country town water and sewerage that have been delayed or postponed. That's Labor's legacy. Order. By contrast, by contrast, the Liberal Order. National Government has already commenced in our first hundred days a council by council audit of the total local government. Minister Tim Gabby will come to order. Once the audit for each council has been completed, we will know exactly what projects need funding and in what order. From this audit, New South Wales councils will be able to determine long-term financial plans about how to address any shortfalls in maintenance. This government takes very seriously, very seriously our relationship with local government. We want to work in close partnership with councils to address this infrastructure backlog. This, com this commitment can be seen by our financial assistance for councils as they conduct their infrastructure audit. The Local Government Reform Fund will improve councils' uh, long-term asset management and financial planning capacity. 1.6 million from this reform fund will go directly to targeted individual councils to assist them with their asset management. The remaining funds will be used to assist training for financial planning and asset management. This is, because, this is being developed in partnership with LGSA, the Local Government Managers, uh, Managers Australia and the Institute of Public Works Engineering Australia. The Division of Local Government will anal analyse these plans developed from the audit to provide feedback to councils. By the end of this financial year, which is only a month away, about half of all the councils in New South Wales will have completed asset management plans and determined the extent of their infrastructure backlog. Importantly, very importantly, our government will unlock up to $1 billion in funds for local councils to upgrade roads, community halls, libraries, parks, sporting grounds and water infrastructure. Yet another example of a government rebuilding New South Wales. The government will establish a local infrastructure renewal fund that will provide subsidies to councils to assist them with the cost of debt. Order. The scheme will allow councils to borrow with an interest rate subsidy which will be equivalent to 50 per cent of the New South Wales government bond rate at a cost of $70 million over four years. The infrastructure audits and asset management plans will help councils to review their rates and allow them to plan for special variations on their council rates for specific infrastructure programs into the future. Tomorrow I will address the Shires Association Conference. I will again emphasise the importance of councils collaborating and sharing resources. I will be releasing a survey on collaborative arrangements between councils, joint programs which have sparked innovation in service delivery and greater utilisation of council assets. The council by council audit, uh, which started, we started in this government's first 100 days, will guide councils and help them effectively plan for the future, share ideas and resources, borrow cleverly and confront the immense infrastructure backlog that is the legacy of the previous Labor government. By working together, our government and all the councils of New South Wales will be able to rebuild this state from the ground up. Yeah. Hand in hand, local government and the state government will make this state number one again. 
So, Madam Speaker, we have big plans for infrastructure in the state. If you're talking about big projects, we've got infrastructure in New South Wales. If you're talking about other projects, we've got Kickstart New South Wales. And if you're talking about local infrastructure projects, you're talking about our local government renewal fund. We are a government that's serious about infrastructure, and we are going to make, we're going to make it happen, unlike the lot opposite. Thank you. The time for questions has expired. Are there any ministers